Welcome back. We'll continue our series of how to use Publii to set up your static website. In this video, we'll take a look of at URLs and the sitemap feature. First, let's take a look at URLs, which you have a similar setup in WordPress. Where the URLs are enabled, not display file names such as .html after the URL. So leave that on to shorten your URL. The next button, always add index HTML and URLs. Leave this off. The only reason you will need to enable this is if your home page does not load automatically, then you will need to use this option. Tag prefix, leave this option off is just adding additional text for a custom URL. Then author prefix, leave this off because you don't want to add your author name to your, it would make your URL even longer. Pagination phrase, leave that off. Error page, if you have a custom URL for your 404 page, you can add that here. The same for your search page, if you have a custom search page that you create that you can add that URL here but otherwise leave it as is so now let's take a look at sitemap now as you know in WordPress there are many plugins that can create an XML sitemap for SEO purposes in Publi it's already part of the setup so you just make sure you have the XML sitemap turned on and you can custom select what features you want in your XML sitemap. So leave the tag pages on, author pages on, home page, pagination on, external images. I uh, usually you won't need this, so leave that off. And if you want any files excluded from your sitemap, you can add those files here so it would not be added to the sitemap then don't forget to save settings and you can save in preview you can easily de delete your website if you want which we don't want to do at this time so that's it for these two features in the next video we'll take a look at additional features and setting up your Publi CMS static site generator website